The state of southern nations, nationalities and peoples of Ethiopia is home to extremely diverse culture, ethnicity and natural resources. Hadiya zone in the state is known for its diverse natural attractions. East Badiwacho district is a particular case in point in this regard. <laughs> The district has three of the four lakes in Hadiya zone. Mejafera Lake, the prominent one, is located in the Rift Valley corridor. The origin and formation of the lake is controversial among the community members. This lake was home to different wild animals and bird species. They used to wander around the lake as there were no human beings here at the time. Mejafera was named after this. The term means the dancing field of animals in Hadiya language. The lake covers more than 8,000 hectares of land. What adds beauty to the lake is the island that is covered with forests. The island belonging to the lake seems to be located in far distance from here. But when we turn toward this right direction, it gets closer and closer. Large numbers of birds are found at the island. There are different wild animals in addition to the bird species. Among them are hyena and the snake varieties. The Mejafera Lake is well known for its different bird species residing and living based on seasonal shift. Only in September, the number of white birds that migrated to the lake is estimated to range from 3,000 to 5,000. Here, you can watch more birds during summer or dry season as their number increases during this season. However, their number becomes low in the winter. The birds here do not get enough food during rainy season. That is why their number declines in winter. They prefer to migrate to somewhere convenient for them to spend the time. Mainly they migrate to Abjata Shala Lake, where a large number of bird species are available. They come back to this lake in summer following the change of the season. <laughs> These birds and other species are now fleeing the area due to various man-made threats and problems affecting the species. The 
Hippos used to live here before the degradation of natural resources surrounding the lake and its environment. Other animals have also left the area. For instance, there were crocodiles living here, but they have gone now. We go to the island to bring fodder for our animals or take our cattle there. Similarly, we bring firewood for our domestic consumption and that has deprived the area. <laughs> Hippos used to live here until very recently, but nowadays it has left the area due to the old tradition existing among the local community. A person who kills big animals like a lion and other wild animals is considered as a hero. The train was being considered as a prank. This has significantly decreased their number and forces them to leave the area. Such a trend exists among the society even today. Due to this and other related challenges, the lakes here are not being used as a tourist destination. Deforestation is the other challenge facing the lake. The wild animals here are being hunted by the local community due to lack of awareness on the matter. Almost there is no life here in the lake as a result. However, hyena and other snake species are living on the island. Currently, they even are declining in number. Here is that Illo Lake, which is located three kilometers away from the Mejafera Lake. This salty lake has remarkable topographical and natural features. This lake is 380 kilometers away from the capital Addis Ababa and 102 kilometers from the zonal city Hosanna. It covers the area of 5,000 hectares of land. The lake is categorized among the Rift Valley lakes, which are said to be crater lakes. It is so deep. The name itself implies depths in local language. The area around the lake used to be covered by forest where wild animals like lion, hippotamus, and different bird species used to live in. Gradually, they started to disappear. We are told by our fathers that this area used to be covered with forest 20 years ago. The nearby community never used to rely on the area for agriculture. There was no siltation coming into the lake as well. I even have seen on my own eye that the size of the lake diminishing from time to time. The lake normally has no tributaries. For the lake to become a tourist destination, there is a need to conduct awareness creation interventions among the community. Currently, there is a good beginning in this regard. Accessibility is another issue. There is lack of infrastructure taking to the site. This needs to be addressed. Pudameda is another treasure of the East Barwacho district. Covering 10,000 hectares of land, this lake has a depth of over 100 meters. Just like other lakes found in the area, this lake has its own implications. The Budamuda Lake covers an area of 10,000 hectares of land 
and is 100 meter deep. It was used as a medicine for domestic animals belonging to the local community. As you have been observing, several hot springs are here in the lake. They could be used for different purposes. The Buda Medalek is situated in a deep, sloppy area whereby it takes 30 minutes to get to the beach. When one watches the lake from a top area, its color seems to be white or blue, but this will be changed to black as it gets closer to an eye. This is believed to be due to its salinity. What's more, there are also different hot springs waters surrounding the lake. These are additional tourist attractions. As you have been observing, several hot springs are here in the lake. They could be used for different purposes. Although these lakes are sited close to each other, they haven't received many tourist flows. We have already identified tourist attractions found in our zone and the challenges facing them. We have also put the way forward so that we will be able to develop the resource to benefit from it in a sustainable manner. Feasibility study has already been conducted to this end. We need to address the problem of infrastructure hampering the movement of tourists into the area. This would help tourists get access to different sites such as falls, mountains and lake among others. Challenges related to basic infrastructure developments and promotional activities are needed to be addressed in a bit to properly benefit from the destinations. Mm -hmm. 